The arms dealer is after Victoria. I need to stop him before he gets too close. Man, he already too close. You want my advice? You take that girl and you run. I never did believe in running. According to my sources, the girl is in Chicago. Me and the boys are leaving ASAP. I need you along to spearhead the operation. Are you in? Wait. I heard you. You want me to snatch some chick? Name's Victoria. Dom is gonna call you, tell you how to find her. She's in hiding somewhere. You got that? That's a lot of hassle for one chick. She must be special. I need to bring my boys. That means double my fee. Mm. Take Lenny with you. He can bring her back when you find her. Lenny, limp, trip on my feet. <laughs> Sorry, the kid's a dipshit. 25. 39. 26. 37. 30. 35. Deal. <laughs> Lenny, come give the man a line. Come on, Limp. <laughs> Limp Lenny. <laughs> Shut up, Wade! <laughs> I like good old Wade, I really do. Makes my skin crawl. Oh, that's probably why I like him. <laughs> now, Blake Dixon's a ruthless for sure, but the guy you really need to worry about is the business partner, Dom Osman, owner of the Vixen. Even by my standards, I mean, he's clever and How do you know about that? Hey, Chicago knows, I know. <laughs> Dom ain't all that different. Send me his picture. Now, since every cop in Chicago is hot on you, the safest route to the Vixen Club should be through the tunnels next to the Roxy. Good luck, Holmes. Time to regain focus. According to Birdie, strip club owner Dom Osman is Blake Dexter's informant. He put the arms dealer on Victoria's trail. I will remove him from the equation before he causes any more damage. Personal note, Birdie did not give me this information out of the goodness of his heart. He has much to gain by Osman's death. This is a fragile alliance. I have to tread carefully. Everything clear. Hey, I found something. What? I don't know. It's like a, an altar or something. It looks like. Hey, wait. Hey, what's happening on the Hawaii? Huh? Not a problem. We need to find the suspect. That's all you have to worry about. We both know what your ass is off. Yeah, roger that. Just, uh, look, let's call somebody down here, okay? Could be a lead or something. Will do. Tomorrow. Don't worry about it anymore. All right, all right. Over and out.
buddy. <laughs> Look, I know you buddy. You found a girl from your club raped and killed. A Coast Guard from Hawaii left on her body. And as I said, you know nothing. Hey, there are freaks out there. What the girls do in their free time, not our problem, man. They're just a bunch of whores to you guys. No conscience, huh? In your face every night? <laughs> Ain't no room in this brain for a conscience. Yeah, what, do we look like Santa's elves protecting the North Pole? This ain't a nice business, this ain't a nice neighborhood. You want to see some you gotta pay. Oh, come on, man. Hank knows Now remember, when you get inside the Vixen me. Club, look toward the bar. Cause Dom, he likes to be with the action. <laughs> Be safe out there. Say anything unless you're sure. Let the cops handle it. Let's get your neck out. Uh, you know what? You're right. I I shouldn't have said anything. I, I don't know what I'm talking about anyway. I'm talking out of my ass. Oh. oh, look. Um, I'm late. I should really go get ready for the show. Just gotta entertain his friends. Don't let them think they own you. And just think of something positive. We, we've all been there, honey. Luckily, they don't ask twice. <laughs> just tell me what happens in Hawaii. I mean, 
It's just, you know, you all say it's really bad. I mean, is it, is it just like a private club? You know, like the back room? Yeah, something like that. But it's, it's not something you really want to be a member of. Just, just be strong, baby. Yeah, pretty girl. You show them how good you are, but just don't say yes to everything they say. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I won't. I won't. <sighs> poor, 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 poor thing. Yeah. You were right. Dom was searching for Victoria. I got to him just in time. Good for you, Holmes. Kudos. He was on to you as well. A man is coming. A man named Wade. That guy's crazier than a shithouse rat. You need to get your ass over here right away, because this is about to get very loud and very messy. I have to call you back. On my way back to Chinatown. Stay low and watch your back. Oh, yeah? Well, that's easy for you to say, Holmes. Man, that Wade, they say he got ways to make you talk. And you and I both know that I got a lot of shit to say. So hurry! 
Just stay calm. some hard breathing? No, I haven't seen anyone that looks like that. Sorry. in the right place we could go home i'm just saying i can't find anything well something's gotta be here will you stop talking like that but that is my voice i can't help it are you okay you know what we should have asked the third man maybe he knew something yeah it wouldn't have helped you and i know this stinks of phase you to you, sir. Wait. 
Sanders. It's only, it's only a matter of time before they see me. You gotta get me out of here, Holmes. You got to. You got to. For your own damn good. Bertie, focus. Don't do anything foolish. I will take care of this. was to say birdie, then you would respond, what? Uh, you want roast duck? Wrong answer. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Once more for the hearing impaired, where's the guy they call birdie? And what about that bald huh? Start talking. Please. <laughs> I don't know. Anybody here? Anybody out there? give a shit. business with you.
It's me. I just got my hands on some solid intel on the Birdman. Just get a hold of Wade for me. Yeah, the crazy loon's gonna love this. Locals aren't talking. Yeah, they gotta be covering for them. You do realize the streets are packed, don't you? Really? On you? How many? You throw in a uh, champagne room? Wow, it's a lot of. And just for finding this birdie guy, huh? All right, you got yourself a deal. Crack a bottle and get ready to light my fire. with this cowboy guy. Real nasty looking piece of work. They were going downtown, I think. Too late, 47. I gotta do what I gotta do. <laughs> 
Tell me, Mr. Wade, what would you rather do? Find a girl? Or waste a bullet? Clock is ticking.